What's going on, BFL fam? I'm Carlos. This is Steven. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, we're going to talk about a fragrance from Toast called 1920 The Origin Eau de Toilette. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning in today as always. We really do appreciate it and hope that you're all doing fantastic. If this is your first time landing here at Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, I would love if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Subscribe to this guy right here. Thank you so much. Red Lessons. <laughs> and while you're at it, click on the bell icon here at BFL so you don't miss future content that I upload here to BFL. Welcome, welcome. Toast 1920. It's a Spanish jewelry company. That's right. They have a store in Soho. They've had a lot of fragrances throughout the years. And uh, this is their most recent release. They came out with uh, the Origin Eau de Parfum, which was in a brown bottle, brown and beige, which was a really nice fragrance. It was cardamom heavy and spicy, really enjoyable. And we both reviewed that and we both I liked do it enjoy a lot. That one, yeah. This is the Eau de Toilette version, which is different than the Eau de Parfum version. They've had quite a few successes through the year. There's one in particular that I love from Toast, which is Toast Man Intense. It's kind of in the wheelhouse of... Um, it's a freshie, I remember it's, that It's much. a freshie, it's like Mont Blanc... Legend? Legend yeah, yeah, or yeah. Extreme or Fierce perhaps or maybe. It's a great freshie that is very powerful, lasts all day and not a lot of people know about it. Mm. <clears throat> this is on the freshy side. It was released this year in 2020. Some of the notes include, it's got grapefruit, it's got vetiver, it's got amber, it's got clary sage, it's got gayak wood, and it's basically a freshy that falls into the uh, umbrella of blue and, blue and or green aromatic <laughs> fresh out the shower fragrances. Groundbreaking, breaking, groundbreaking, <laughs> no, but it is pleasant to wear. As a matter of fact, I'm here for the weekend in New Jersey here at this Gabriel Lazos' house. They picked me up in Brooklyn. They had a date on Saturday on the way home. Before they came home, they picked me up. I got into the car and he's like, what are you wearing? That smells really good. He thought it might have been something. What was it? Initially, so I was trying to pin it down. Initially, I thought it was Nautica Voyage. Mm -hmm. And then I, I was like, not a voyage. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, it's definitely fresh and clean in that sense, but it didn't, I couldn't pin it down. You know, it reminded me of, you know, like a very fresh, pleasant designer mm -hmm. vibe, but it does do its own thing, admittedly so. Mm -hmm. You also mentioned that it reminds you of uh, one of the uh, low essays from Issey Miyake. Yep. So it's that kind of, uh, I don't think this is so shower jelly, like Sauvage. But you can't help but not mention Sauvage because that is the yeah. umbrella that it would fall under. Just a basic, clean, out the shower that has nice longevity, people around you will enjoy. And uh, yeah, I believe it costs around $100. You can pick it up at soavantgarde.com. And uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on it? I think the the fragrance does smell very pleasant, admittedly so. Um, once I spent a little bit more time with it, I do think it smells a little bit similar to Lotus A. Por Homme by Yusu Miyake mm -hmm. or maybe one of the flankers. I feel like with this one, the grapefruit really pops and I really like that freshness in the opening, but it also kind of maintains that sort of fresh um, green vibe all the way through. It has a very clean vetiver in the dry down and the gua uh, Gayak wood is of the fresher variety as well. You know, mm -hmm. we have some dark woods like agarwood and whatnot. And so there's an overall freshness from beginning to end in this fragrance. Um, but I really do enjoy the fact that it's so easy to wear. It's definitely the type of fragrance that will lend you some compliments. And uh, personally, I would purchase this one. If I can find it for a really good price, I would buy it. Cool. So um, that's what we have today, short and sweet on Toast Eau de Toilette. Toast, the origin Eau de Toilette. Right. 
Let us know if you've tried it. Have you seen it at Fragrantica and are curious about it? Leave a comment down below and we'll start up a conversation and see what's going on with this one and what you guys think. For us, it, it's, it's good. It's not great, but it doesn't stink. <laughs> it's just an easy grab and go. You know, um, there are some easy grab and goes that kind of stink. This doesn't. I do enjoy this one. It smells good on me. It smells great uh, on you right now. Yeah, yeah. so um, I kind of... You had to go upstairs for a minute, so I kind of drowned <laughs> myself so you can get the feeling, the vibes of uh, yeah, the fragrance. So thanks for watching. We hope that you enjoyed your time with us today. Until next time, you take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you at the next review. Bye.